サビ出ますサザビ発進Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Seven Voice Channel. Today, I finally got the time to finish the this gambler. So this is the RG Sazabi, and as you can see, the box is huge, huge. It's very huge, and you know, let's take a look at it. As you can see, at this, we're looking at the box. That you can see is massive. It gives you a very Surprising feeling, and then at the side, which is like a normal RG, we got the frames, the articulation, the details, and then a finishing product. And at the side here, we got some actions. We got the rival, we got the saber, the axe, the normal articulation, and the rear view. So now we're just gonna open it, and let's see what's in it. Now, as you can see, it is a pretty big box. It's actually comparable. It's, it's actually comparable to the MG boxes. So we got we got about eight or nine, about eight or nine um, bags. And now we're gonna quickly flick through. So you know, just quickly flick through it. It's just you know normal. RG instruction manual. It's been a while since I built an RG because you know RG usually take a long time to build, and I don't really have that time since I'm at a turn break now, and I actually got time to build one. So I'm just gonna quickly finish this. And as you can see, we got a extension for the articulation, and as you can see, wow, that is a lot of decals. That's gonna take a long time to put it on all of them. We got a color guide here, and then we, as you can see, we got a lot, and I mean a lot of decals going on, and that's gonna take a long time. I assume it's gonna take a very long time. After I finish this panel aisling, you know, panel aisling, you know, stickers, um, you know, a, a flat coat, and then yeah, it's it's gonna be a long time. Okay, anyway, I'm not gonna talk too much. Let's open up the runners first and next check it out. Now, as you can see, it is a mountain of runners, like that much. Yeah, it's a lot of runners. So let's take a look at it by one by one. So this is the H runner. We got two of it. This is the inner joints. Oh, I'm sorry, the inner frame of the MS. We got we see some feet part. We got some funnels frames. We got some legs frames. The shoulders frame frames, and we got some hands joint. And then some part of the inner shield as well, and we can see there's some part of the arms as well. A B runner. This is the advanced MS joint. It's brand new, and it's gonna be very stable. Okay. Next up, we got a part runner. The the number eight unit already fall out. I already put it in the box, and we got the waist part, torso part, the backpack. And then we got the rival shield backpack, etc. And we got a clear piece for the head as well. And then we got two F runners. So I'm just gonna take one away. Two F runners. So we got a back back leg armor. And then we got some arms unit. We got some shoulders unit. We got some waist unit as well. And then we got I'm not sure which two part of this. And then we got two E runner as well, so we're just gonna look at this. So we got the funnels wings, we got we got these funnels wings, and then we got a shoulders unit, we got the feet unit, and then we got another feet unit as well. We got two H runners. So I'm just gonna skip one. So we got the uh, fuel can in the back. We got the backpack funnels joint. We got some legs. We got some fuel can as well, and then we got the. Backpack as well. The mostly is backpack and then the fuel cans. We got a C runner. So this is the. I believe this is the head and some part and then the the pilot figure here. The pilot figure here, and then we can see some legs armor and some waist part as well. This is the eye runner because there's two of it, so I'm just gonna take one out. So this is the eye runner. The eye runner is a. It's mostly the inner frame of the joint. As you can see, we got some feet joint, legs joint, arms joint, all kinds of joints, and we got some hand, uh, hands options. What's that called? Hands options, hand armor at the side here, as you can see. And then next up, we got a D 
the runner, a shield, the back skirt, the legs part, the backpack, and then we got a head, and then we also got the backpack and the antennas. Lastly, we got a G runner. A G runner, we can see that is a lot of details on the basic MS. We can see some feet part, there's some backpacks. There is the backpack part as well, the waist part. The waist part as well, this is the back skirt and the front. I, think, I believe this is back skirt and front skirt as well. I'm not really sure about that. And the missiles in the shield as well. And then we got the beam saver effect parts. It's very green, <laughs> very green. And it's actually kind of look like a highlighter screen. Next up, a large sheet of decals. As you can see, the number is going up to... I don't know where it goes up to. It goes up to like 69, 70... Oh, actually, it goes up to 71. And then at the other side, we go for 72. As you can see, we got a clear label of the RG Zazabi stickers. And this is going to take a lot, and I mean a lot, of time to assemble it. Anyways, guys, I'm going to see you guys at the review. I'm actually pretty excited on the outcome because I heard a lot of people said this is a very, very good gunplay, so I'm looking forward to it. Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the RG Zazabi. So this is the finishing of it. I honestly need to say though, I take a very long time to actually build up the gunplay. It's actually very, a lot of parts. First, it's a lot of parts. Secondly, um, 
in my opinion, this is probably one of the hardest. This is probably the most hardest XG that I ever built because some of the instruction is kind of blurry, and I kind of took some time to figure out how to do it. For example, the shield, the shield. Uh, in the instruction menu, it told you to push up, but actually you need to use a lot of force to push up. So I actually took a very, a pretty long time to actually push it up. But anyway, that's not very important. I would like to say though, this is probably the best RG I ever built. It's very stable and it's a lot, it's extremely a lot of detail. Although the color separation may not as, you know, as clear as like those Gundam series, like Gundam Double, Double Quanter, that you, you can see um, clear, color separation you know sasabi is always just so pure red so you can't really see there's any color separation on the rg kit but if you look closely there's two actually two colors of red so this one is kind of darker red and this one is kind of close to like a pink a pretty pinky color red you can see a difference here if you look closely you can see the difference here and that's basically it and i have to say though this this time, Ben I actually take away a lot of um, frames. The MS frame, they actually turn it into some like master grade. They turn it into master grade where you assemble the frame instead of attaching the frame on the runners. So reducing that is pretty good. It adds more stability, but that means for some of you that might concern third party companies can start copying RG series because since RG is using less frames now and yes the quality is good but which means it's very easier for the third party company to copy it but I'm personally I'm fine with it because I sometimes I buy third party kits as well sometimes I will buy it but um, I'm just gonna say that Bandai I rather Bandai stick with this design like stick with less less um, fixed frames but more frames that is actually from uh you know putting the parts together to add more stability i like this idea better than anyways because you know usually when we build rg in the past it's either very sloppy they can't stand on their own cough cough saku too and um either they have a very bad upper body or lower body joint for example gonna mark to rg sinanju and you can pick one just pick one example anyway i'm not gonna talk too much just let's jump straight to the review i think i talked too much okay let's let's go to the review all right let's start from the head so the head unfortunately the head is extremely big and it's very actually very hard to turn around the maximum you can turn around is probably 90 degrees and for for those of you who actually know about Gundams, you do know that Sasabi's cockpit is actually on the head. So they, they give you the cockpit open option. So you just have to pull up, up and down. And then you can see this little, little piece here. I don't know, can you see it or not? I don't have a torch right now, so you can't really see it. But as you can see, there's a, the gray part here actually got a small gap in there. That's actually the cockpit. And I think it's really good for a very small gunplay like this. They can you know frame out the cockpit and i think that is very good and as usual the camera here is a large sticker by the way it don't fit on the clear piece by the way so the sticker will kind of slightly popping out but anyways that's probably the head that's the head movement and you know you just put it back once you open up the cockpit other than that there's not really much to talk about it all right now so let's take a look at the torso so the torso here i think the torso is doing a very good job so first the torso it added the extra articulation detail here i don't know why the upper body can slightly move up and it can attract it back as well it's the feeling of it is pretty good it actually feels pretty stable and it's not you know very sloppy like mark ii's design and then we got, of course, the very signature Mega Cannon at the torso. And you can see we got a lot of silver sticker to reflect. As you can see, if you put it under the sun, you can see it. The The waist part is a very special design. You have, It can move the part around, but you just have to pull down the, the sizes first. So first, the whole upper body can turn around. So it can turn around, but it did have a small lock in there so the maximum you can turn is probably 90 degrees it does have a small gap in there and then you can move the side skirt the front skirt around so as you can see you can adjust the size uh, the front skirt or either the back skirt to a position that you want the front skirt unfortunately it cannot lift up 90 during this uh, the pipe is getting into the way so 
that's the maximum you can oh so that's the maximum you can lift up the side skirt as well the side skirt you can maximum lift up to the side like this and also the side skirt do have a function you can actually pull down oh, let me move away the hand first you can actually pull down if i can you can pull down the side skirt and as you can see it got a small detail in there and you can just simply slide it back as well the back skirt though is just is it's just not really movable that much. It can lift up a very small angle, probably like 45 or something. But overall, the overall the waist part and the torso part, I pretty like it though. And it also added a part where the where the Zazabi can actually move a slightly front and back on the waist part. But this part though is not really that much slow, so I don't think you would really need to use that. And the Zazabi is also able to move side to side the joint for moving side to side for the for the waist part is actually inside the fixed frame so it's not by you snapping out a part and build it together it's the fix it's the fixed frame the ms advanced joint from the runners right now moving on to the hands so let's let me just kind of turn around so the hands is actually able to switch to turn around uh horizontally and it can bend up oh you think that can actually bend up like this no you actually there's a secret joint on the gun plug, you can open this up. You can open up the joint, and then you can pull down and retract it. And actually, you can see the hands movement is extended and actually show out this small piece of armor inside the arm. So I think that is a pretty good thing, though. You can extend the arm. You can extend the arm unit to you know add more, a little bit more movement on it. And I think that is a very good idea, and I like it. And the shoulders as well. The shoulders. We got this usual piece here that for you and then we can extend the armor on the shoulders as well simply just pull it down if i can yeah there we go we pull it down you can see there's a small detail here you might need to do some recolor for the silver part as well but anyway the the shoulders actually got three movable armor one at the back one at the front and then is a ms joint is an advanced ms joint runner and that's good and we got the beam saber detail here unfortunately it's not a full beam saber it is just a beam saber head so unfortunately you cannot just pull it out and then use it they give you a another beam saber part for you to use it unfortunately i wish that is a full beam saber on the arms but unfortunately it isn't and the whole arm is able to do 360 easily without the backpack getting in the way you can easily do 360s and but this is the part that i want to tell you guys so a lot of you guys may heard this before so the first day that the rg zaza be released there's a japanese youtuber was doing a review and they broke the arms unit here so the arms unit got a special lock on it you have to make sure you put it at the right position in order not to break it because the part here is actually a ps plastic so it's very soft and it's very easy to break mine has already got some a little white mark on it which means it's about to break so i'm just gonna be very careful with it so first the whole arm is able to lift up 90 degrees is as you can see you can hear the sound uh, every time i turn turning that I, I feel like i'm gonna break it so let's just do it slowly and carefully and also the arm is able to lift out as you can see there's a joint here you can lift it out this is the part that i'm afraid that i'm gonna break it because you can hear those <coughs> sound and it's, it kills me okay just like a normal rg the shoulders is an individual piece that it can move and that's pretty much it there's not really much to talk about other, about the arms because you know just simple rg basic stuff still can move the front move the back move the sides 360s rotations and the hand options i will talk about it at the accessories all right next up let's take a look let's take a look of the legs so the legs it can bend this much unfortunately because you know how big is this other be armor so the maximum you can bend is this much so don't expect too much if you like oh and also that's a that's a thing that i don't like the joint on the feet is pretty blurry it, the, the feeling is pretty blurry and it's very easy to pop out and i don't really like that but i still have to accept it anyway but anyway it's it's a small problem we can fix it and the fit can lift to the side for 90 degrees it's very easily lift to the side to 90 degrees and the feet down below there's a free there's a free piece of joint here you can move 
the feet around and also you can meet and you also you can move the feet slightly side to side up and down as well it's pretty good and the feet can kick to the front as you can see can kick to the front kick to the back but but the back though you don't expect too much because there's a huge waist armor getting in the way so you can't really do that there's a little there's a small detail on the legs though this piece of armor you can lift it up and then kind of detached it from the body and you can see the thrusters in here i think it's pretty good though and one thing that i really like to complain so if you open up the suspect's bottom you can see this part here is for the action base though i try to put it on to do some photos it's literally and i mean literally impossible to put it on a action base as you can see it's still flopping around as you can see it's still flopping around and you can easily just get it off and there's a joint here on the legs. If you detach this, you can adjust to the you can adjust the legs position. But I don't really do I don't really recommend you to do that because if you adjust the feet position to the front, it will look very weird. But just telling you that if you detach this part, you can adjust the feet's movements. So if I put it back, you will just lock it. So I like the idea that these sides of the actually added a lot of locks and they added the added the small detail on the legs. I like that part. I pretty like it actually. Now let's take a look at the backpack. So first the fuel cans, you know, it's a ball joint, not really special. Just adjust it to whatever position you want it. It's pretty bland, no details on it. Not really much details on it, except for these decals to add a special details. But the part that I like most is the backpack. The backpack, there's a joint here. You can expand it and actually look at the details on the uh parts and i like it like look at this how look at the details in it you just have to repaint it if you want it and then the part on the funnels though if i so first you have to pull out so this part is pretty amazing so if i can so first you pull out the back and then you open up the side of the of the backpack and as you can see the funnels is coming out now and each funnels the funnels is the part that surprises the most if i just take one the funnels here is actually looking like this. So this funnel actually got a special function. If you push it, the funnels will open up. Yay! I thought, you know, when I first see the prototype, I thought you have to open the vents one by one, but actually you push the back of the funnels and they were just coming out. If you want to close it, simply just push down at the side and they will reattach it again. I think that idea is, is, is amazing. That idea is amazing. And also the funnel port here, they can move uh, horizontally or vertically, just adjust it to the position that you want it. And I really think the funnel is the part that surprises me the most. Other than the uh, actual detail on the gunpla, the funnel part is the part that surprises me the most. And I feel like Bandai actually make this RG with very serious attitude. It's not just, uh, it's just not, it's not with the attitude of uh, just whatever. But I feel like they actually put a lot of work to the RG Sasabi. Now, welcome to the part that you guys been waiting the most, the accessory part. So first, we got a beam tomahawk. And, you know, you see this weapon like million times on XG, MGs, whatever you want to, whatever grade you see. You see this beam tomahawk uh, like a hundred thousand times. And we got a lot of special effect parts that you can attach. You can either attach this kind of long ones. Yes, of course, they do have a second part for you. They have two parts for you. You can either attach to these long ones or you can attach to these small ones here. The smallest one here, it, makes it, it may look a little bit more normal for me. And you can actually put out the beam sabers and then just put it on there. And there you go. You can have the full beam tomahawk right here. And I personally think it's pretty cool. Although the color is kind of too light i don't really like this light green color but it's okay we can deal with it and then we also got two beam savers so as you can see here the head on the beam saver head on the arms is actually useless they did give you an extra piece of beam saver just to let you have fun with it and next up we got a shield is pretty good the shield but the part that i don't like the most is the missile part as you can see it's too easy to fall out and the part here as i as i said you can adjust the shield parts it's pretty hard to turn so i don't really recommend you to do it and it also can adjust the position but as you can see no matter how hard to pull it it still doesn't come down 
Once I pushed up, it never come down. And the beam tower hawk, you can store it in the shield. You can store it in the shield like this. There you go. So the beam tower hawk, you can store it in the shield with this. And then it all, you can also attach it on the gunpla itself. So basically, you just simply pull it down. So you just simply push down, and there you go. As you can see, now the beam out the full weapon for the Sazabi is on it now and also we got a rival here the rival is pretty special here so I'm just gonna lay down like you see it the rival is pretty special so first it works like a shotgun and then the e cap you can pull it out and then put it back so I think the so I think the you know the the beam rival is actually doing a pretty good job as well and next up we got option hands here so first we got a fist hand here but the other fist hand already put it on to the left arm so now you're seeing the right arm fist hand and then we have a pair of pair of hands option for you to hold the beam sabers beam tomahawk and then we have another and then we have another pair of open hands for you to you know do whatever you want and next up lastly we got a dun 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 Shah's figure is completely red so you can have fun of repainting that. I'm not gonna do it. You're gonna have you're gonna have fun to repaint it. And that's pretty much it. The whole RG Sazabi is just basically ends here. It's not really it's not it's not it's very impressive actually. It's not really much accessory though, but it's very impressive. I actually like the MS frame. Anyway guys, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please drop a like down on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more contents and Lastly, I'm gonna give you a opinion of mine. So I really recommend you to buy one and have fun with it. The process is a little bit painful because sometimes the instruction book doesn't really set it very clearly how to put it on. And sometimes the the joint feeling is kind of, you know, unclear, but it's okay. As a finishing product, I feel overall feel really like it. I like the details. I like the, I like the, you know, extended detail and then I extremely like the fun, uh, the funnels part. The funnels part is the part that surprises me the most. You can poke it out from the back and it will expand it by itself. It's great. I love it. But the, um, but the part that, you know, but sadly, the beam savers is just giving you a head. It doesn't give you the full beam saver. That part is kind of, you know, breaking my heart, but it's okay. I love, I overall, I love the details. I love the gun part. I really recommend you to buy one and have fun with it. Like seriously, man, you have to buy one and you know try it out yourself. But anyways, I'm not gonna talk too much. And this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in another gunplay review. Goodbye.